been in Queensland now, this is going to our fourth week. In the first three, we were on the Gold Coast and it was quite funny because we've, we've come up from Canberra and we were very excited for some warmer weather in training and it just seems that this whole east coast of Australia, although it is winter, even the warmer parts are experiencing this severe um, cold temperature. So we arrived and we were still going out on the bike in like a couple of layers and my teammate, she was in thermals and um, so it was a bit of a shock really. So, um, but look, training was going well. We just started, you know, um, starting to have our sessions probably run no longer than an hour, an hour and a half. And it's really specific stuff involving some endurance and then a lot of speed stuff throughout the sessions and some longer rides and everything. And uh, the last two weeks now, we've been further north up in Townsville and it's great up here, although we're still experiencing that cold um, weather, it's still a lot more warmer and um, there's the humidity around and it's really good because once we head into Florida, we'll still have a bit of a base now um, in regard to acclimatizing to warmer weather and the heat. So it's been really good. Our sessions are about three a day, two to three a day, depending on what they involve and just really focusing on, you know, all the things we want to execute on race day. And for me, that's really about improving my times and um, keeping the consistency and the strength and staying healthy. So recovery plays a huge part in our training after each, each session. So we're down in the ice bath and doing a lot of stretching. But time, times are coming along well, um, you know, doing our speed sets in the pool and then um, getting stronger on the bike and then also running. So I look, I couldn't ask for it to be anything um, better than this at this point, this far out of Rio. It is seven days a week at the moment, but like it does vary. So on a Sunday, we'll have one session. So we still manage to get, for example, if we do that in the morning or just a bit late in the morning, we've still got that whole afternoon off and we won't probably start again till mid-morning on the Monday. So technically that works out to be a whole day's day's rest. But on a, on a three-session day of training, we might have gym in the morning uh, and then we would go into a, we, well, the other day we had gym and then we went into a track speed set. So we would have um, the main set after warm up obviously was we had 10 400s. So um, for us, yeah, 10 400s, um, target of one, one minute 30. And it was just then sort of, you know, light jog around 200 meters round to the next point and then go again. So that would be the track. And then later in the afternoon, we would have a swim, which would involve um, often just some more endurance and strength work. So paddle work and on, on a different day, we would have um, a swim early in the morning and that would involve um, your endurance and stuff, but also then your speed set. So that could be again, eight 100s on specific time, minimum rest. Uh, and on the bike, we might do sessions that are out on the road. So longer rides with efforts. And it's really just determining and looking at our power output um, when we get back. So the, the conditions can be a bit testing at the moment on the bike. We've had some amazing um, headwinds, which are very challenging and uh, definitely test you mentally out there. But look, it's all going really well.